Officials of the outgoing government are already engaging with the newly established Presidential Transition Council and the incoming administration with a view to driving the palliative program. But the mode of implementation does not depart from the distribution of palliatives to a targeted 10 million households of 50 million vulnerable Nigerians in the first instance. When we're working on the 2023 medium-term expenditure framework and the Appropriation Act, we made that provision to enable us exit for our subsidy by June 2023. We're on course. We're having a different stakeholder engagements. We've secured some funding uh, for, from the World Bank that is the first tranche of uh, palliatives that will, be, um, that will enable us give cash transfers to the most vulnerable in our society. Meanwhile, ahead of May's national population census, the Cabinet approved the award of the contract for the supply and installation of information and communication technology components for the 2023 population census at a sum of 10.9 billion naira. Another contract that was approved for the NPC, National Population Commission, is for the contract for the development and the implementation of mobile device management solution. Uh, for the, personnel, for the personal digital assistance devices uh, to be used for the 2023-20 uh, population census. This is in the sum of about 4.4 billion naira. Also on Wednesday, the Council of Ministers approved contract for four roads in Kwara State under the tax credit program covered by Executive Order 7. The total distance of the four roads is 283.938 kilometers and it will be constructed by a leading cement company whose operations are impacted by the state's road network supply. From State House Abuja, Kendi Amudu, Trust TV News.